Hey y'all, first cold front of the year coming up. I love to throw me a crankbait and especially a square bill this time of year. I've got two brand new ones I'm gonna try and do a review, especially on that one. The uh, Bill Lewis brand new ATV 1.0 square bill and the Hyra Micro. It's a Japanese premium lure. Let's get right into it. You can feel it. That's not good. There's a fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. He was right next to the stump. There's a fish. There's a fish right by the boat. All right, guys. Here's the Hyra Tiny 33F Shallow Pilot. This is by Lucky John. And I think I got this in a mystery tackle box. I'm not sure. So I've been searching for a shallow diving, almost a wake bait style crankbait to fish in some of these tiny creeks I've been fishing lately. Um, this thing should fit the bill. Come on, Lucky. There we go. So this thing is just over an inch long. Um, it seems to be pretty well made. It's solid, durable. It's got small trebles on it, um, and I'm not sure about those. We might have to switch those out. So let's tie it on our ultralight setup and get it out there. All right, so we opened up the Hyra and hooked it up. Now we got the Bill Lewis ATV 1.0. It uh, says it dives two to four feet. I'll believe that when I see it. Two inches long, quarter ounce. I'm going to throw that on my uh, casting rod. It feels solid, fat body, square bill. Seems like it's got good mustad hooks on it. All right, well, let's get it tied on and let's get out on the water. See you out there. Always remember your drain plug. There's a fish. Is he on? Oh, he's tiny. Well, the first fish of the day on the Bill Lewis is not really the target species, but it is a really nice uh, long ears, sorry, red breast sunfish. And they're all mega floppy. All right, I'm just gonna let you flop yourself out. There you go, first fish of the day. There's a fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Big fish, big fish. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Big fish, big fish, bigger fish. All right, hooked up with a big, it's a drum. It's a big drum, but it's on the, the build. All right, let's get you in the net, buddy. That's a big drum. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Well, the target, guys, is bass. But look at this big freshwater drum. That is a big fish. Drop a comment, tell me the weight. This thing is, ouch. So I'm not sure what happened here, guys, but the audio right here was completely missing. I was uh, shocked at this huge drum we just caught on the uh, Bill, uh, Bill Lewis square bill crankbait i mean by i love bycatch and this was a great uh catch on that uh square bill on this cloudy day i was just trying to let it go in the net and get it some oxygen so let's get back into it there's a fish oh that's a decent little bass that's on the hyra the ultralight um Basically, it's a uh, white bait. That's a nice bass. I'm gonna net him, mainly because I don't want to lose my lure. There he is, right in the net. Yeah, it's a nice bass. Oh yeah, long and skinny. All right, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right.
All right. All right, so the first cold front of the year, for me, that means picking up crankbaits. And I have the Microlite Hyra. Just nabbed this two, two and a half pound bass. Long and skinny. I think they're getting ready to feed up for the winter. But beautiful little fish. So let's get him back in the water. That's a good one. That's a really nice life jacket. Okay, so that in my lure. toe and I don't even feel it. That's not good. How did that happen? I don't know. Okay. Look at that. It's actually in my toe and I don't even feel it. Great. Okay, I'm feeling it now. I gotta get to my pliers. Ow. Oh. <laughs> well, these shooks are sharp. I just hooked myself. Oh, what a nightmare. There's one. Got one. Oh, he's off. Felt like a fish. There's a fish right by the boat. <laughs> okay, another one. Oh, a big old bluegill. That was not the original fish we hooked. But I'll take him. I love these big bluegill. Nowhere by far the biggest I've caught in this lake, but a nice one. Wow, why am I not leaving myself enough slack today? All right, there we go. Big bluegill. Okay, guys, this is the perfect setup for what we're doing right now. First real colder front, cold front of the, of the year, of the fall. Overcast skies, a little bit of a wind. Parallel, this sloping bank. We're sitting over six foot of water. But the, uh, it parallels and drop-offs and step-offs. But these fish are going to be more active with this weather. And we're going to catch them between 3 and 5 feet offshore on these offshore ledges, humps, stumps, brush. This is the perfect situation for these lures we're fishing right now. There's a fish. He was right next to the stump. I just let it pause right as I passed the stump. Caught this little guad. Nice. Okay, I've hooked myself twice today. That one's not in past the barb. Dang, what is going on with me? Feisty little guad though. There's a fish. Got one. Got one. On the Bill Lewis. I keep wanting to say Bill Norman, but it's not. It's Bill Lewis. That's just a little guad, but that's okay. All right. Decent little guad. Standard issue size, maybe a little smaller. On the Bill Lewis Fat Flat. Yeah, nice little fish. There we go. There's a fish. Tactical nuke incoming! Right at the boat. Boy, these big old, uh, whoop, those big old bluegills like this bait. So I wasn't recording for any of that, and I was talking like a fool. Just hooked up with this uh, pound and a half, two pounder on the Bill Lewis, right on that offshore ledge. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a drop off right there, and he was sitting right there 
brought it past pause wham there we go thank you god dang it what is wrong there's a little fish is it yes it is there's a little fish on the caught it hit it on the pause as i was moving the boat that was better than i thought decent guac just proves my point fish slow match the hatch there we go why couldn't i have had my camera rolling for the last fish and not the little dinky wink anyway thank you Kerp. We're getting a concert while we fish here. Retying my lure here. That's another one. Especially when you're using lighter line, like I'm using six pound mono. Retie frequently. Check your line all of, often, all the time. That was kind of a combo. All the time and often, all the time. Know what I'm doing, what I'm saying right now. And, uh, Better to take a minute to retie than it is to lose a, a nice fish. See? Because you didn't retie. All right. There's a fish. Right off the shoreline. There we go. And I am recording. Yeah, decent little fish. A little largey. Oh, he really wanted that, though. He just swallowed it. Ugh. Nice. Buddy, thank you. There's a fish. Got one. Hooked up, hooked up. I don't think he's big. No, he is not, but he is fishy. All right. We're just about to have to call it. I'm not even sure we're going to make it all the way around this cove. Light's fading. I am. I am. All right, guys, so that'll do it. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow. You know what to do. I ran out of light at the end of the uh, fishing portion, so I couldn't do the outro. Both of these lures really were effective. Now, the Bill Lewis is about two inches long. It's a quarter of an ounce. It did not dive four feet. It dived two to three feet. I'll give it that. But this translucent color in the clear water along with the shad pattern, the bluegill pattern, and the first cold front, a little bit of windy overcast, it was just a killer. It um, uh, also accounted for that big old drum, but it also caught big bluegills. So amazing bait. I really liked it. I'll drop uh, the cost of this lure right here in the video. Um, definitely gonna keep this one in the arsenal. I'll probably buy more colors. I'm not gonna lie. I'm addicted to this little guy. The Hyra Tiny 33F Shallow Pilot. It's literally just over an inch long. Um, it did come with some smaller trebles that were weaker. They bent. So I did replace these one size up with a little bit stouter on the water. Didn't seem to affect the action. Two good things about this bait. It mimics bait fish and it suspends. So you can bring it by a piece of structure and pause it. At least twice that happened. I brought it by a piece of uh, a stump and then a, a piece of PVC pipe on the water, paused it, and immediately wham, got it. With the uh, bigger hooks, the hookup ratio, catch to, to bite ratio was much better than previously. I did do a standalone complete lure review of this and that will be posted this coming Sunday in three days. So stay tuned for that. A lot more stuff coming on the channel. We're going to do more lives. We're going to do a lot more product reviews and we're going to do the thousand cast product reviews. I'm not just going to get 
out there and throw one lure 10 times, we're going to fish it hard. We're going to evaluate all these new lures and new um, techniques. So tie lines, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.